Okay, so let's start the show now. Blip flip dee bee dee flip shwap ba da pee blee da 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 do 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 Was that on the show or is... No, that's just my, my key to start the show. I think that should be the theme song. <laughs> yeah, you think? You're tired like... of the new one? I mean the old one? Yeah. Well, you have been, you've been cutting out my version that I slaved on, so... Yeah, cause you wouldn't make a new one. Well, how often do I need to make a new one? I don't know, I make one every show, so... Hmm. Well, I am not making a new one every show. And I thought the one that I made was pretty good, at least to last for a, a little while longer, but I guess you just didn't agree oh, with that. Oh, so, two, so two months isn't enough for... for You've an been doing this for two months? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Wasting my life. Yeah, on you. On me. <laughs> yeah. So welcome. We this is the triumphant up. return of Weisenheimers. I'm Wise. I'm Heimer. And together we're, we're a cool group. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We can score you pot. We'll, no. We'll get, you, we'll get you all the, like, uh, cool drugs if you want to. We'll get you... I coke, I crack, I dope, I smack, I dust, I pills, I thrills, I kills, I LSD, DMT, THC, PCP, MMO, RPG. <laughs> I like that. I, I wonder what, what I kills is. I don't know, but that's not original. That's from Mega64 video. Oh, come so on. You laughed at a Mega64 joke. Come you on, man. Mega that's not joke. fair. That's not fair. I'm going to tell like Family Guy jokes and you'll laugh eventually. <laughs> you know what? I probably will. I know. But I'll do it in a normal voice. You know what? Let's do that today. In this podcast, try to slip in a Family Guy joke and see how I respond. You're going to have to be Chris, though. Or Meg. Why? Why can't I be Steward? Yeah, you would be a Steward, because you're, you're, you're mean. Yeah. yeah. No, I would be the dog. No, I would be the alien. <laughs> That's a different the show. Alien, the... No, it's the same show. They got the alien, and he sounds like... Uh, that guy, that celebrity who's dead. I think you're talking about the bear? That's the neighbor? No, not talking about the bear. No, are you, do you mean the, the, the obese black kid? Who's my favorite character. Who? The ro the robot chicken. Oh, the robot chicken. You li I like when he, when he, uh, he has those speeches. When, when he's <laughs> on the podiums. This is the best part of the show's. Okay, now you've lost me. What? Speeches on podiums. Yeah. That? Oh, that's what he does. The robot chicken. No. no, you're thinking of something else. Well, sorry, I don't watch all your stupid shows. I'm not a kid. I don't Do you not watch know cartoons. What... Do you not know what robot chicken is? I know what robot chicken is. I okay. saw that Seth Green chicken. in a hotel when I was in California for Comic Con. He was really short, wasn't he? He was so tiny. And you know what? It's like Randy Newman says, short people got no reason to live. Yeah. He wasn't that much shorter than me, though. He was shorter uh -oh. than me, but not that much. Ooh, I... Are you a short guy, yo, Tom? Yeah, I'm a short guy. I'm a shorty. My condolences. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. But you know what? As I've told you before, and you haven't believed, I... You would trade it all. You would take all of this and give it to a short man. That's right. Yeah. But you know, the 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 grass is always shorter on the other side. That's right. Mm-hmm. So, how 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 was so, how was your weekend? Uh, it's not over. No, I mean Still the gone. last one so, when we uh oh, didn't do yeah. a cast. I don't know. I was. I guess I was kind of. I, I enjoy taking the week off. Sometimes it's nice to take the week off. Yeah, from so the... I, it was for the record, it was uh, Yo Tom's idea, but I didn't fight it because I kind of wanted to take a week off too. Yeah, we deserve a week off. We did this so hard. We put a, our our guts into it. We did. Uh huh. All of our guts. And eventually, right. you need to take a break because you need to regenerate some guts. Mm hmm. Because this is not like modern warfare where your guts just regenerate on. Like, as long as you wait, you need to go collect some, uh, guts. You need to get some HP. Some HP. Which stands for... Hate points. 
uh, Harry Potter was the first thing that jumped to my mind. So, as you can see, we're both hilarious today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, who, who, whose joke do you think was better? Hate points or Harry Potter? Go. I, th- I think they were both equally nonsensical. So maybe they would work as kind of like... A team. Like if you were kind of into like non-sequitur humor, but otherwise I don't think they have a lot of uh, comedic merit to them, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess so. But that's something that we've discussed on this podcast, is just the fact that neither one of us is very funny when we are forcing ourselves to be. Mm-hmm. So let's not, try and, let's not try and be funny, you know? That was my idea the whole time, and you didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, because I think that's not funny. Yeah, that's Because every, every time I try to have a serious discussion, you're like, oh, I don't want to do that, it's boring. I don't do serious discussions, though. I, be- I rarely do them in my personal life. Why would I do them with you, you, you strange... Because that's interesting for people to listen to on a podcast. you got to have something to talk about. I don't know. I don't think people are that interested in serious discussions. You know what? I think maybe it's time that we took to the fans and asked them what they want out of this podcast. Okay. Because we can't decide. We just can't decide. Is it online poll time? We could do something like that. We could do some some form of market research. We could talk to the chat after the show. I know we're not supposed to do that during the show. We can hire a uh, uh, like a market. consultant of yeah. some sort. Yeah, we can do that. They would help us uh, get in touch with our demographic. That's right. Yeah, I guess we should spend money on this. I think this is worth the money too. You, you can spend money on it. I will not be spending money. Oh. I'm trying to save up for a Cintiq. So a Cintiq? What is that? Some sort of vase? Scott Pilgrim just froze. Excuse me? Oh, Scott Pilgrim. Oh, you're playing the Pilgrim game? Does he have to, like, yep. follow us in every podcast we do from now on? In some <laughs> this sort is of the way? Scott Pilgrim cast! No, Scott no, Pilgrim we're done. Cast. No, no more uh, Pilgrim cast. Okay, so I do want a Cintiq, because you, you, you don't have a computer screen anymore. I have a computer screen, but I'm just, I'm fed up with the Intuos. I think it, my technical skill has evolved beyond it. And I feel like it's holding me back. You think you're better than a, than a tablet? Yeah, I mean, I can draw better on paper than I can with an Intuos, and to me, that's a sign that it's time to step it up. That's the thing, I don't. I, I, I draw pretty much the same. Well, th- that's why you don't need a Cintiq. But I want one. Well, yeah, everybody wants one just because it's a cool new gadget, and it's fun to have cool new gadgets. I just want to rotate it, because I like rotating. You said that you didn't want one because there's a delay. Yeah, whenever I tried it, like the two, three times I tried it in conventions and stuff like that, it was always like a weird delay. Well, I asked Lauren about that, and she uses one all day long, and she says there's no delay. So the ones that you use... Lauren? My friend Lauren. Do I know her? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Where from? From the internet. We we used to be an item. Oh. But now oh. we're just friends. Oh right, you the items. I don't know. She where. so. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> I remember your fucking Yoko. Why can't you remember my Yoko? Well, because even though she's not my Yoko anymore. Oh, that was sad. No, we're still friends. It's cool. Yep. You guys still play but, games together? No, well, we never played games. But um, the point that I'm making is the the ones that you used were either broken or calibrated incorrectly. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. You know what? I'll buy one just for you. But I'll use it just here so I can prove you wrong. All right. Well, you have a lot of money from Fox, so I don't oh, see what, any reason why you can't buy one. Already bought a car? I'm starting. Uh, right. I'm, I'm replicating Frankie Muniz's car collection, so we can oh, wow. we can get together and chill out finally. Yeah, but he has a practical necessity for a car collection. <sighs> what do you mean? He's a, he's a NASCAR driver. He is. Why do you think he stopped making? Why do you think he quit show business? Because he's a, he's a professional NASCAR driver. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. That's another reason he should have hang out with me. I love NASCAR. Are you being facetious? And I love... I suspect you are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's... it's To me, NASCAR is like... It's, it's like... Wrestling. 
I, I, there, you know, people are passionate about it, and I don't really understand the appeal. But you know, if you want to get into that, that's fine because you got to respect other people's uh, opinions and tastes. No, I think wrestling seems more fun. Like I, I would enjoy watching wrestling more than a. The same reason I would enjoy playing a wrestling game, other than a. One of those, you, you when you had when you were a kid, you had one of those racing tracks that you just like click a button, they just go in circles, just like. <laughs> <laughs> ever ever had one of those, Max? <laughs> yep. Those weren't fun at all. I thought they were fun. Really? They would always. What was your favorite toy when you were little? Uh, penguin race. Penguin race. What's that? Google it. You can't just describe it. Uh, it's basically. I, we're, doing, we're doing a podcast. It would be uh, pretty beneficial for you to talk okay, about. Okay. It's pretty much like a, a set of stairs. And then at the top, there's a there's a slide that goes down, in like a cool loop thing. And then it, it connects back to the stairs, and there are three penguins, and they go up, and then they slide down, and then they, they go back up, they slide down. It squeaks. That's crazy. <laughs> That's yeah. Some toy. That was a great toy. You didn't have a, a video game system when you were a kid. I had a Sega. They played Aladdin on it. A Sega, a Sega Genesis. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, pretty. I don't. I can remember really. I, I know I play. I know I played Aladdin on it. Well, if if it was a Sega Genesis, then you and me had the same first system. <laughs> that was the first system that I ever owned. Oh. It was the Sega Genesis, Thanks. and I played Sonic the Hedgehog games all yeah, day long. Sonic and favorite. Aladdin. What else? Yeah, if it was Sonic, it was the Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, though that Sonic so fast, so fast for so a hedgehog. So fast. Mm-hmm. You know what? Hedgehogs aren't supposed to run, Sonic. What are you doing, you doofus? Yeah, I mean... They're not supposed to be blue. You're the wrong color, you freak show. You have shoes on, you, you dummy. You're, you're an animal. You're supposed Don't to be, eat You're supposed to be used to the, to the texture of the ground against your feet. Sonic was originally a rabbit. Really? That makes a lot of more sense, but then, you know... How <laughs> does that make a lot of more sense? Cause a lot of more. Because there's like the the, first of all, bunnies are faster than uh, porcupines. It's true. Second of all, there's a whole story about a race and a bunny. That's Where right. But the bunny didn't win that race. Remember. Well, who would want to play as a stupid turtle? Turtles are dumb. It's true. Yeah. Turtles are just like a bummer. They're never fun. Yeah. They don't. They never not, smile. Not even Ninja Turtles. Well, if my turtle loved pizza and was trained by a by a rat, he'd be pretty glad. And he had a hot like <laughs> friend that wears yellow jumpsuits. That'd be pretty cool. That's right. But other, That's other right. than that, I wouldn't want a turtle without all those uh, accessories. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me neither. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I have an announcement. All right. Weisenheimer's is officially on iTunes. All right, check it out. iTunes dot corn, all the best corn to go with your Thanksgiving dinner. It's actually you can go on iTunes dot com and download the program and look for Weisenheimer's and you can subscribe. And oh. but if you don't have iTunes, you're gonna have to download that program first. Uh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. And I would like to thank uh, Thunder Boom for helping me uh, get it on iTunes and uh, doing stuff for the RSS feed and uh, hosting files, which uh, Max wouldn't do because he's poor and dumb. I'm poor and dumb and that's why I won't host files? Yeah, that seems logical to me. Okay. I'm sorry, I needed to... I'm sorry. Very burpy today. Me too. So... <laughs> want, want to burp out? Uh, Excuse me? Sorry, you... Burpcast! Oh, burpcast, okay. I bet I can burp <laughs> better than you. Well, we're not gonna find out. Oh, yeah? Well, I got all day, and we only did, like, uh, 15 minutes, so... What, what, what you else know what? There are, there are young ladies listening to this show, and we have to be gentlemanly for them. Oh, right. I forgot about the ladies. We can't be acting all rude and crude. That's right. Let's be. It's not a, it's just not appropriate. You got to be classy, dudes. Yeah. What What do ladies like, Max? Uh, Justin Bieber. 
Okay, so we need to be more like Justin Bieber. I don't see why not. I mean, it's definitely doable. Yeah, I could lose like 200 pounds. <laughs> I could get a weird haircut. Yeah, I can do that. Kind of like a mop top thing going. I could. Probably not. I could sound like a little girl. I could be friends with Usher, that's for sure. I could I could say, uh, what's that song that he does? I don't know, I can't baby, think of Baby, one. baby, baby, ooh. Is that really one? Baby, 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 ooh. Yep. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo lover. He does that one, right? He did, yeah, he did that. He did, uh, because the sun is blue, it makes me cry. The sun is blue? Yeah, that's how the song goes. He changed it a bit. He wanted to make it his own. <laughs> the sun's not blue. Well, you don't know the Justin Bieber way, because he's colorblind. I, apparently he is, because the sun ain't blue, by Biber. Did you? That's, did, that's how I used to think it was pronounced, Biber. Yeah, Biber. Did you? Biber. Did you know that only men can be colorblind? That can't be true. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, because I've seen it on replays. Believe it or not, and I did believe it, and. And then I well, why can't why can only men be colorblind? Because of their dicks. I don't know. I didn't look it up. <laughs> well, the first thing I would want to know is why, because that doesn't make any sense to me, and I don't believe it. All I know about colorblindness is uh, from that movie Little Miss Sunshine, where the teenage boy wanted to be a pilot, and then he was colorblind, and then he couldn't be a pilot. And then he yelled fuck really loud, and they had to pull the car over. Yeah, and that was the only thing he said. I like that movie. I, li I like that part. That's my favorite part of the movie. Yeah, the movie. Well, Let's check it out. Sunshine.com. It's got Steve Carell in the only good movie he's ever been in. So check it out. Minimalistic uh, posters.com. It's on there, too. <laughs> Minimalistic posters.com. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I, I liked Will Arnett, uh, Steve uh, Urkel, what's his name? Steve, Steve Carell. Will Arnett, Steve Urkel? I liked him more on, what? uh, on, um, you talking about? on the biblical version of, uh, Noah's Ark. He, he was in that movie. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's... That was a good movie. Steve Almighty. No problems. That was a good movie. Steve Almighty, Frank Almighty, check it out. G G G blah, 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 blah. Next email. Oh, there was an email? an email, right? <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that us talking was is just emails. But <laughs> 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 didn't know that. Do you want to do emails? Yeah, right sure. Now? Let's just do some uh, some mailses. Or did you want to talk about the you know what first? Whoa. Ew, that's gross. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop slurping. But it's Fresca. I know, but I don't like when you slurp. It's really gross. You need to stop that, okay? So it's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's do emails, and then in, in between you can ask me questions, so he, so he keeps getting interrupted. No, because I wanted to talk... That thing that we were going to talk about, I wanted to okay, talk about talk, it and devote talk attention about to it. it. Talk about it. Well, you know, why do I have to run the show? You know what? This show is me. It, really? I, like, I come on here and I run the. Sh I come on here and I run the show. Really, and then you Max? give me shit about the way that I run the show, but you never even try really, to run Max? it yourself, so you don't have the right to complain. You have no idea how long it took me to get that fucking shit on iTunes, and to yeah, learn how I, to code an RSS here, feed. And I'm doing all the work because when I, I always have to guide these like pointless fucking conversations of us on here talking about nothing. Do you want to fight me? Do you want to physically fight me, Max? There, there is no contest there. No, there's... And that's why no. I wouldn't fight fair for you. Well, I know how to shoot a gun, so... <laughs> and I don't? Yeah, you don't. A child, a child knows how yeah, to shoot sorry, a gun. Yeah, sorry, you're too tall. Simple. Too tall to shoot guns. You gotta be this uh, short to shoot guns. So, yeah. No, you're full of shit. Full of shit. And full of uh, male testosterone, so watch out. Okay, you know what? You need to start making choices. You need to learn to be decisive. So what do you want to talk about on the show? What is next? Tell me and we'll do I it. I want to talk about the thing you want to talk about. Which is? 
I don't remember. <laughs> oh well, I guess we won't talk about it then because you don't remember. Is, is it, do do you mean the fox thing? Yep, that's, oh, that's okay. what I was talking okay. about. Okay, so sure, let's talk about it. Ask ask away. Well, I read Yo Tom's pilot for the Fox Network. Oh, the network brought you such amazing shows as. The Cleveland Show, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's the only good show they've ever had. Mm -hmm, pretty um, much, it's a classic. So what I want to know is, tell us about your pilot, Yo know, Tom. First of all, I wanna I wanna know what you think, cause you you didn't tell me. Well, I don't, I don't want to get, I, um, how like how critical do you want me to get? Cause I can I can get really critical, or I can kind of not be so critical. You can get critical. I don't I don't care. I'm happy with it. I don't think you're gonna. It, it sounds like something I can change now. Well, um, the, like obviously the first thing that I do want to say about it is I don't feel like I can judge it yet because it's you know it's just a script and it's in script yeah. form. Yeah. That's and true. you know he, for those who don't know, he sent me the script and I read it. And um, and you know this is something that we've talked about before. Uh, when when you read like a script of something that's supposed to be like either a movie or a play or a TV show, you know, an, an essence is lost because that's not how it's that's not how that story is supposed to be told. Yeah, so you like can, you, could you, can you could read a see, script, you can see the the expressions and the way they say it and everything. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cumula it's an accumulation of a lot of things. Um, it it could be like the best movie in the world, and you'd read the script, and it would still be pretty lousy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why I read the script, and I wasn't really sure what to make of it. Um, but I think the premise is cool, and I think the character is cool. I really like that character. I assume that it's going to be doing this, uh, it's going to be the same voice as the character. Mm -hmm, Can I assume this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, Tomar Joshua doing the main voice of Johnny Stormface. And he's going to be face. He's going to be doing a, a, a stand-up job as Johnny Stormface. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean in light of everything, I'm I'm still very excited for it and I have faith that you're going to do a good job. Thanks, Max. And it's going to be very it's going to be very cool when it's finally done. But the one, you know, the the only one thing that took me out of the experience was um, uh, some of the dialogue and the way that it was written, because it sounded like, it, it very literally sounded as if it was being spoken by you. <laughs> yeah. And you, as we, <laughs> uh, you know, as we have learned on this podcast, English is not your first language. Yeah. And no, uh, no. like there, there was one part where a character sent me off. But I think he was. He, you meant to write. No, you're creeping no, me that out. was a joke. That was an actual joke. That was a. That was a joke. Yeah. Okay, well I didn't get that joke then. I know it, it's just, that joke. Went, it's yeah. just trying to like base that that character has a weird lingo. Oh yeah, I I guess I was reading that weird lingo when I was just thinking. But yeah, Man, when Yo Tom needs English. <laughs> but when people, when people like read it for the edition, they always like changed it to creeping me out. Like, come on, guys. Yeah. I wrote it. I wrote this. Fucking do what I right, tell you. Right, and you. But that's the problem is because you wrote it. So you don't trust like my abilities as a as a writer from Israel because because you don't think my my Hebrew my English is a uh, good enough. Well, when I say when I say writer, I don't mean writer as in uh, yeah, your yeah, ability know, to come up with grammar and wise storylines. I write. You know that wasn't the only example of little problems like that that more. arose. But I mean. Well, I'm, I don't have it in front of me. Open it. No, but no, but I can't because you you know we can't just read the whole script on the yeah, air. It's still true. top secret. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I do want to stress is it's an absolutely easy fix. All you need is an editor who speaks English. Yeah. And who probably. who English their first language preferably, and that's all you that's need. That's weird. The guys so it's, from Fox didn't even say anything about it. The guys from Fox didn't go like, yeah, you have a few grammatical uh, errors here and there. They, didn't. they probably just want to see the final product Sounds first. Like <laughs> Before like, approving the scripts, they just want to see the final product. You know what? You could have put anything in that script, and they probably would have said fine. Because really, it's the it's the final product that counts. No, I could. I and as do it. they they told us to change a few things. Oh really? Yeah, they told us to change the ending of the first act, but we didn't. We convinced them that it'll be funny, <laughs> and they made us add the whole like others thing so there's like sort of a love interest so there's like yeah. another element that that's keeping him like to stay there yeah 
Yeah, so we did. So you kind change. of buckled under the pressure and uh, compromised your own creative integrity. Oh, wow, what course. a fucking sellout why, you are! Why wouldn't I? Jeez. Because this is a sh this is this is supposed to be your show and uh, it's supposed to be your singular vision. Yeah, and, you, and it's, a lot, it's a lot officially of, been compromised. A lot of great things happen with those shows, like home movies. A lot of people. A lot movies? of people watch that show. And they. Yeah, hmm. that show was uh, the result of. Of the studio not interfering with the creative process, and that show did awful. It it did awful, or it was awful. It did awful. Well, are you concerned with making a popular show, or are you concerned with making a good show? Uh, right now, for the for the beginning, I'm interested in making a popular show, f f definitely. Mm. Without giving, yeah, I would never. Without giving up on my like my sense of humor, I'm not gonna like put in fart jokes, but. If I need to buckle down to a few things in order to make a popular show that then I can turn more into my own, then I'm fine with that. I guess you can't be blamed too much for that, but I don't know. It's, you know, the whole thing always has struck me, the concept of, you know, the the network meddling with the creative process, and you know, it's always bugged me. The... Because if, the, if these network guys, if they truly know what's best, then how come they're not the ones making the shows? Because they're not funny people, usually. Then why are they trying to change things that you have made? Because they're your bosses and they need to show some sort of something. I don't know. I don't know. But but he said we have a creative voice. Hmm. That's something. I guess. Yeah. I gotta really, like... I, I don't know. Tell me what you think about his comment when I said, like, I'm doing a pilot for Fox. You realize that by working for Fox and helping them generate revenue, you're per... per Perpetuating a cycle of ignorance and Jeez. racism that their news network. Your English is great. You're perpetuating sorry, a cycle continue. of ignorance and racism that their news network encourages across the U.S. Right? Like, oh, what? I what? What am I supposed to say to that? Like, sorry. Like, but it, it, is it just Fox or like? Because I'm sure that any network has done something bad. You know what? I'm sure that any person on the planet has done something bad. Because all human beings have evil in their hearts. It's yeah. part of the human condition. But it's like, you know, you can't get too philosophical with these things because that'll just drive you crazy. But it's, I mean, is, is, the, Fo is the Fox network even really as bad as that some kid on the internet is saying? Uh, I don't know. Their news is ridiculous. But... They also liked the character because the first thing they saw with it was making fun of the whole, like, shock value news thing. So, I don't know. But I don't care, really. I, I just want to try and succeed. Where did you get that, that comment from? On Newgrounds. Yeah, why do you care? Because it's the internet. That kid's probably 12. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He said perpetuating. You know. Yeah, I knew that word when I was fucking five. Yeah, I was a smart baby. <laughs> you know, you know what his name is. What? Chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Well, he's got good taste. Chocolate chip cookies chocolate chip is cookies. really mad at my my decision about about uh, working with Fox. My decision. So you feel like I, I I was offered, like you can work with them, them, and them. Who do you choose? I'll go with Fox. Yeah. Fucking people, man. <laughs> Oh, just ignore it. They're just jealous because you got your own show. <laughs> I don't have my own show. I don't. Why? Why does anyone assume that like I'm gonna have something on TV? Nothing is gonna come out of this. Nothing. You know what? You're you you are. But like making the pilot is the first step. And if if you truly believed that nothing was gonna come out of it, then why would you even bother to do it? Because I'm because there's part of you that thinks, it. oh well, maybe. You're not getting paid for it because you got to spend all your money to make it. No, you're wrong. You're really wrong. No, you're supposed to be paying me. Yeah. And you're just going to spend all that money on yourself. Well, yeah, pretty much. Although I don't think you need that much money to do a few backgrounds. Although if I could criticize you on one more thing, it's that I don't necessarily think you are taking this quite as seriously as you should be. <laughs> because this is a big opportunity. I, I view it as one of the greatest opportunities a person could have. Why, why do you think I'm not taking this as seriously as I, as I should be? I don't know, just everything that you've told me. Everything that you've told me, but earlier today you said you're winging it. 
I'm just... You said in, in your in in those exact words you said I'm winging it. <laughs> You can't wing it. You have to plan every little thing out if you want this thing to to turn out just the way you want it to. But I really don't think they care that much about like the how it looks and everything. I really don't. I really think they just want it to be funny. I'm gonna make it look good as much as I can without like hiring a million Koreans. But were you winging it when you were writing it? No, we thought a lot a lot about writing it. it took a it took us a, a while to write it. Yeah, see if I was if I were you what I would have done is the second I found out they were interested in producing any kind of pilot, I would Shut yourself. start doing research. To what? Shut yourself, you know, cuz all the pressure. Sh shot myself? Yeah. Shoot yourself. You would have shot yourself. That's fine. Come on. Okay, what are you my dad? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, I what I was going to say is I would have started doing research. I would have started. I would have started reading books on the subject on how to write for television. Oh yeah. I would have, you were, know, were, you, were you the fucking guy me. who told me to 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 get a fucking book? Cause, yeah. Because I, I got a fucking book, and that book was so awful, so bad. Well, it's not supposed to be enter. It's not supposed to entertain you. Yeah, it's supposed to be informative. But, but but it's like if you don't know that, then you you wouldn't like they wouldn't ask you to do a podcast. It's like. A character needs to uh, have some sort of conflict with someone, because if not, the viewer doesn't want to... Uh, he's not interested in the character. The character needs to be relatable. It's fucking dumb. But, and you uh, felt like it was it was telling you a bunch of things you already knew. Yeah. So you think you know it at all? No, I think I, I know enough not to uh, need, need a book. I don't know. Come on! It. How could how could you know enough? Not how could you know enough? You've never done this before. You're doing something you've never done before. But I've written before. Have you ever written for television? No. It's gonna be tough. But it's I, gonna be very I tough. animated for television. It was much worse than what I wrote. It was awful stuff. I don't know. I just, I just serious. I'm I'm pretty serious. I don't know. I I. I may not show it, but I'm serious. I did a lot of sketches Maybe. today. I did like ten frames worth of sketches. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that, everybody. He's a fucking brilliant dude. Mm-hmm. Thanks. My stomach hurts. Oh baby, I mean to. It won't help. I mean to do like a <laughs> on your tummy. That's like <laughs> no. no. Come on, that would tickle you, and you'd smile. That'd be a nice Ugh. moment. No more McDonald's. No. Hey. You know what they're doing with their chicken sandwiches now? Uh, putting shit in it. There, it, it used to be just be chicken and lettuce and mayo. Now it's chicken, lettuce, mayo, a slice of Swiss cheese, and bacon. <laughs> well, you didn't have to ask for all of that, to be fair. I didn't ask for all of that. Oh, they just changed That's, it behind your standard. back. That is standard. That is standard now. Behind your back, they just added all those... Damn uh, bacon bits! Like, oh, I didn't they, want that. They weren't, they weren't bacon bits. They were full strips of bacon, Ooh. and that's standard now. Classy. Yeah. So now I got a food coma going. Yeah, yeah. I I wanted to start in the show, but apparently I was late, and I had no idea. Not my fault. No, it wasn't your fault. It was a uh, time's fault. Time Time Squad, check it out, CartoonNetwork.com. Oh, I love that show. You know who who animates that show? The guy who does Clone High. Canadians. I wish it was the guy who does Clone High. It is the guy who does Clone High. Writes it. That uh, that show, I I assume the show was created by the same people because it has the same visual design. Fuck that. That's true. That's false. I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. Time Squad and Clone High, they look exactly the same, and they're both about history. Uh, oh my, no, oh wait, no. Sorry. <laughs> Did you see Sunny with a Chance of Meatballs? I probably asked. Did you mean Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Yeah, I said Powdy, I guess, or something like that, right? You said Sunny with a Chance of Meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. Yeah, I saw it, I didn't like it, we've already talked about it. Okay, you're dumb. No, no, <laughs> no, no one from, uh, from, uh, well, then it was the same artist, at least. Yeah, same, like, Canadian studio, probably. But the guy who wrote for Clone High also wrote for Cougar Town. I don't know what that is, and I don't think... Cox well, in it? 
Oh, she has a sexy name. <laughs> it's the it's the girl from uh, Friends. You don't know her. I know who the girl from oh, Friends thank is. You. Yeah, this is a sexy name. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> yeah. Dick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my uh, sexy named girlfriend, Samantha Dix. Wow, that's pretty sexy, man. Dix, man. <laughs> why, why is that sexy to you, uh, Max? I don't know, I was making a joke. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, hey, oh, my name is... Oh, for God's my sakes, yo, Tom, get off the fucking attack for five minutes. My name's your Tom Vagina. It's kind of sexy, I think. My name is Max Pussy Wussy. <laughs> I thought you were about to say Pussy Whistle for some reason. I can say that too. It's no reason. Please I can't. do it then. I'm waiting. My name is Max Pussy Whistle. <laughs> I <laughs> nice. almost said something else. Oh. Good times. We. I. I miss this, Max. I miss this. Yeah. Uh, I could take it or leave it. Yeah. Me too. I so mean, we must be. We must be getting on in t in the time here. We should probably do something else. Emails. Hang on, I gotta open the fucking thing. You're never ready. Emails. Every time Max reads the emails, he also takes his time. He reclines. He takes. I'm reclining. He takes a nice swig of a uh, freshka. No, nope, freshka, fresca, freshka. And he's just like, yeah, I'm taking my dime, taking my days. Got all day. Taking my dime. Taking my dimes, taking my days, taking my pennies, Is taking my rhymes. Show. Is it Weisenheimer's show or Weisenheimer's show? Weisenheimer's show. Two S's. So it's two S's yeah, in a row. Yeah. At gmail.com. I'm probably going to read out the password or something. <laughs> I almost did. I know. <laughs> By Cookie Kingdom. You're such a wacky piece of shit, Max. I'm such a crazy guy. Oh look, and we've got new a new emails since the last time. So Max, okay, we got Max, did you enjoy reading the emails earlier and probably preparing a bunch of jokes so you can seem better than me? I didn't, I didn't prepare jokes, but now I know which ones we're going to read and which ones we're going to skip because we can't read them all. That's right. Um, there are too many, and some of them are horrible. This one we could read. Uh, this one is from Clementine Hargreaves. And he said, are you gentlemen into ladies with tattoos, and would you ever get a tattoo? If so, what would it be? By the way, I love you, but not in a creepy way. Okay, bye. And then there's a little heart. Aw. Yep. Yo, Tom? Uh, are, would, are you into chicks with tattoos? That's the first question. Uh, as long as they're not stupid. As long as they're not like a <laughs> fucking Chinese wow. letter or a mushroom or a pixie. So for you, it matters what the tattoo is. Uh, yeah, I don't want it to be stupid. If it's like fine, I don't really care. Or just like apathetic about it. I'm against it if it's stupid, and I'm okay with it if it's okay. Well, Yo Tom is okay with it, but I am more than okay with it because I think that's actually pretty hot. Yeah. So, so yeah. Okay, I need to tell you this. I saw a a, a, a porn film. Porn film. And and uh, the guy was uh, making sensualness to a lady, and right. she was on her on her two front, two front uh, knees. Okay, <laughs> on her two front knees. Okay. I think that yeah. position is called the, the dog. And yeah, so she was on her hands and knees. Yeah, and she had a tattoo okay. of two eyes on her like lower back, and then cr two the eyeballs. Just like two really detailed eyes, and it crit the shit out of me, and was like, "Oh god!" Like a tramp stamp. Yeah, but of eyes looking at you. Oh. And it was really weird and really like turned me off. Okay, next email. <laughs> Thanks for that little interlude there. Wait, didn't say what 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 kind of tattoo would you get if you would get a tattoo? I would get spun. I would get SpongeBob SquarePants on my shoulder. I would get a, a tattoo of Garfield. <laughs> okay, okay. He would get a Garfield. You know my dad uh, my dad actually uh, has a tattoo of Garfield. Oh I don't I don't I don't not believe it. Yeah. Um, so just so you know. Okay. Hang on, I'm looking through the emails. A lot of these are from Weisen Weisenheimers. We don't want any emails from Weisenheimers. We are the wise guys. Yeah. You have you guys have you, to you be, guys just be true, be real, and we'll take care of the wise and Yeah. We don't want you trying to be funny. Okay, this one comes from Aubrey McKenzie. Aubrey writes, Hello, I have emailed you in your last podcast, giving you a critique. 
You kept saying I was a girl. I am a boy. Yeah, this right. saddens me. From Aubrey McKenzie. Aubrey McKenzie. So, That's unfortunate, right? Aubrey, I'm sorry that we said that you were a, a chick, but hey, dude looks like a lady. So. And I'm sorry you have a girl's name. I hope yeah, you, you make it out alive. You do. Sorry, McKenzie. I just don't want to go cheerleading with you today because your name's McKenzie. Aubrey McKenzie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next email comes from Jesse Anonymous, which is a pretty cool name. I have a question for you, Tom. Are you ever going to add English subtitles or voiceovers to your Hebrew cartoons so that others can understand them, thus spreading joy and smiles to a wider demographic? No. I think I, I think I know the answer, and that is no. No. Next email. It's, it's not because I don't want you to watch it. It's because it's a very Israeli issue to talk about, and you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get any of the references, and it's just like there's no point. You wouldn't enjoy it. It's dumb. You should make some English cartoons again. No, I'm, I'm done with that. I, I, I wanna, no, I'm sticking to my my peeps. Okay, this one is called... This one is from Roger Duarte. And he said, I remember Max saying that you two would make a song together. What happened to that? Would be fun to see you two working together on something, even if it's just an uncompromised project. We made a, a loads, loads of songs together. We did? Hits such as uh, Let It Scott Pilgrim, Pilgrim Song Number oh, One, yeah. Ping Pilgrim Song Number Two. Don't you remember Get that? Get back, Scott, to where you once belong. And while my Scott gently weeps, we had a lot of them, so I don't know what you're talking you about. You know what? We should just put out an album called <laughs> the, the Scott Pilgrim Collection. <laughs> the Scott Album. Okay. <laughs> this question. My girlfriend's older brother passed away last week, and quite quite frankly, I don't give a shit. My girlfriend is insisting that I come to the funeral and, and, do, and do a eulogy. Her brother, her brother was like the neighborhood bully to me as a kid. <laughs> I'm not, wait, wait, wait. I'm not laughing at the letter. I'm not laughing at the letter. That's funny. No, but I'm not. Oh, okay, you're not. Okay. Her brother was like the neighborhood bully to me as a kid, and I hated him. If I go, I don't know <laughs> what nice things I could possibly say about him. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the letter. I'm oh, not. There's, you, you're watching like an episode of SpongeBob in the back. No, no. <laughs> and if I don't go, it's <laughs> Can you please finish the email? Okay, okay. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what nice things I could possibly say about him, and if I don't go, my girlfriend will be mad at me. So, so, so Max and Yotam, what should I do? Can you explain, please, what you're laughing at, Max? He says, the last line... The last line of the email is... And also, can you keep my name anonymous? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Next email. Wait, no, I need I need to talk about this. This is that's not fair. <laughs> no, we're not talking about here here's an answer. Go to the funeral be the bigger man, go to the funeral. But don't give the eulogy because that would be inappropriate. The eulogy should be given by someone who wants to give it. I don't know. I <laughs> and that's my opinion. My friend had a like one of my some guy that was my friend was when I was like a really little kid. Like his dad passed away, and like a bunch of yeah. kids just went to his fu funeral, and I was like, "What? Why? What the fuck would you?" To show their respects, to 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 show to tell their friend that they were there for him. I would be so offended if like a kid I once knew come to my fucking dead dead father's. If you were like, what the fuck are you doing here? I would be touched because I, I would like to know that that person that that person I, would, would, make me happy would to only that talk that person... to you if your dad died. That's the only no, circumstance where he'd talk to you. It's not a, you're so cynical. Then what is it? It's it's somebody showing respects and to letting you know that they are there for you. And I would be touched that someone went out of their way to do that. Uh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like <laughs> I don't like it one bit. <laughs> Oh, uh, I was not laughing at the email. I was laughing at the last part, and I I laughed at that way harder than I should have because really it wasn't that funny. I, the only reason the only reason I was laughing was because I knew it would be inappropriate to laugh. And you read it. But before. the 
He ed- right, I read it before. The email ends with, also, can you keep my name anonymous? <laughs> and the kid's name is Andy Gay. <laughs> G- G-A-Y-E. And for some reason, that just struck me as the most hilarious thing. <laughs> like Marvin Gay, so, the guy who sang can we get it on. Andy, I'm sorry. You probably think I'm an asshole, and everyone in the chat and everyone listening probably thinks I'm a fucking idiot, but... Yeah. Sometimes sometimes you just think things are funnier than they actually are. Yeah, like, what's fattest clown? Rack Max? Oh. I feel bad now. Sorry, Andy. You should. You, you owe him a, a dedicated episode of Wicked Game Joke for, for your nerds. No, nope, that's not happening. <laughs> Next email. Wait, what's going on with wacky game jokes? I thought the, I thought a new episode should should have been released by now. The the fen- the episode is coming out within the next week. All that's left to do is uh, lip syncing. Oh, and that's the baby stuff. Oh no, it's not lip sync. Lip syncing takes a couple of days. I fucking hate lip syncing. And this one is going to take especially long because this is the longest episode yet. Just make a stupid loop. No one cares. They'll still say, "Hey, no, nice lip syncing." I'm not doing that. This episode is 11 minutes. Can you believe it? Uh, I can, because you got a lot of emails. Yeah. Is it good? Oh, is it funny? Are you it... proud of it? Is it the best one? You know yet? what? I think it's got some funny stuff in it, but I think it go. I think honestly, the fact that it goes on so long works against it. I think maybe it goes on a little too long and it gets boring. Why don't you split it? Be- because you know, like the same thing that's funny for five minutes for ten minutes isn't funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah can go on for too long. Why don't you split it then into two parts and like release the second one after you make a different video? Yeah. Because after this is the season finale and the season finale has to come last. Oh shit dicks. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Andy Gay. Andy Gay. And why would you even <laughs> Why would you even include your name if you don't want me to mention it? Of course I'm going to mention it. Is it the email Jeez. itself or did he just edit. It's the email itself. Oh, so he cannot edit unless he uses some sort no, of. No, because he could have not wrote his real name when he was creating his email address. Or maybe he thought we were decent human beings that wouldn't read his emails upon request. <laughs> well, he was wrong. And if, like, did you? Did, I, I mean, I feel like it's it was irresponsible of Andy to think that I really would not read his name. And you would think that your family would just change its name. Gay. Gay. Andy Gay. You know what? Uh, this prob- this guy is just probably a troll. He's probably just trying to be silly. That's probably not even his real name. Uh, uh n- nice try taking it back, Max. Uh, but, but I don't think so. You know what, Andy? I empathize with you. I have sympathy with your plight. You're in an awkward situation, and that sucks. Uh, what do you think? Should we move on to the next email? Sure, mate. Okay, this one comes from Liam Donnelly. Okay. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't really tell if you actually stopped making the podcast, considering you threatened to end it every time. But I figured I would drop you guys another email anyway. Oh, wait, this is the also, last I email, re- by the way. I mean, last show. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Also, I wrote most of this email about a month ago, and I just realized today that you guys stopped using Max has babies, which was our last email address. It wasn't Max has babies. It was Max has bad ideas. But I guess it's close. Oh yeah. Max, do you actually like Shane Dawson? In the third pod- in the third podcast, you sa- said he was too busy making awesome YouTube videos. The first time I heard that, I assumed you were being a witty jokeman. A and now timer. I'm just not sure. Also, why do you robot? Uh, in, in, in regards to me liking Shane Dawson, uh, the show is called Weisenheimers. So you tell me. And uh, the reason I robot is because me and Yotam are quite literally on opposite sides of the planet, and we're communicating through Skype. And Skype is a pretty okay program, but it's not a miracle worker, no. so there's going to be a few hiccups along the way. A few robots along the way, as they say. And uh, one last note here, he says, Yotam, how do you survive in Afghanistan with all the bombs? Do you live underground? I think you should come to America because we have real houses here. So, uh, Well, I'm currently being... I'm 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 a bunch of pieces of my old body. I'm like spread around my house right now. That's right. And I'm I'm they dying. Suicide. But you know, it's, I'm uh, I'm dying. But I live for my country, and I'm proud to die for it. Okay. This ne- the next email comes By from explosion. Brian Soul. 
Next email comes from Brian Soul, and he says, "If you if you do have a podcast, I can't find it." Okay, well, fuck you. Next email. You can look at, Sorry. Look at it at iTunes dot com, but you can listen Sorry. to it because you can't find it. Well, he it. can't hear it. He can't hear this right now, so he will never have heard this email answered. Yes, yeah, so let's fucking bash him. What a queer. Sorry, buddy. Queer man. Sorry. Queer idiot. Jerk. Uh, this one's stupid. This one's too uh, short. This, this one's too long. Hey, 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 yo, Tom and Max, I'm a big fan of your work, and I listen to your podcast while I work when I'm, and when I make animations. I live in The Wales, which is in the UK, and I once signed onto the chat one episode and stayed up till 4.15 in the morning listening to the podcast live. I even had to go to a barbecue the next day. It was very boring, and I was very tired, but it was worth it. Just listening to you two talk makes me smile. Aww. I decided to make some fan art for you guys. Hope you like it. From Jack Evans. And he said, P.S. Segoy. P.P.S. Max, I bought two of your shirts. Catzilla shirt and the Wacky Game Jokes for Kids logo shirt. So uh, thanks for thanks for uh, your patronage. I hope you enjoy the shirts. I don't know if the quality will be amazing, but hopefully it'll be good enough. Wait, did he say he and, also uh, bought a nameless shirt, right? Nope. Huh. I guess he doesn't... N not a fan well, of that. Well, I'm, I'm glad I, I make you smile, but you can't... <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. And he also sent some fan art, so thanks for that. Yeah, it's a good, I bet it's shitty because he sucks. Uh, why are you so, why are you a jerk? Because he didn't get this my shirt. Out of his... Well, so what? He sent us fan art. Is it good? And that was that's good enough. And you know what? He did this. He did something for us, and you're being mean to him. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Are you lying? No. Okay. <laughs> I think you're lying. I'm uh, just gonna say that I. I appreciate lying. all fan art from all skill levels. I appreciate when you guys send me pictures of your of cats. <laughs> I, th I thought it was really cute when you did that. I have no idea what I'm drawing on on, on paint. Okay, this guy just asked us a bunch of how to do of like questions of how to do things in Flash. So we're gonna be skipping that hey, one. Hey Max, how do you make a keyframe? Actually, this guy says, I was just wondering how you guys convert your, your Flash files and put them on YouTube. I always seem to have trouble. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you? Yeah. I don't know if you're the right guy. Okay, this one is from... Oh, wait. Okay, this is a wise guy thing. This guy says he has AIDS. Next email. Aw. Okay. Uh, okay, here's one from my buddy, the Fab. Oh, the Fabs. Okay, we haven't heard from her uh, in, in, in ages. Okay, so... Whoa, whoa, can you restart what? the robot, dude? I said, the, uh, what was the last thing you heard me say? Start the email. It's from my buddy, the Fabs. Okay, go. And she says, hi, it's the Fabs. Oh. I have like a million questions this time. Okay, so, for Yotam, well, this isn't a question, I guess, but anyway, I just wanted to, want to say that your new song on Newgrounds is like super amazing. I listened to it like six times. It's pretty rad. Oh, thanks. Yo, Tom? I, I worked, uh, okay on it. <laughs> I enjoyed making it, Worked though. Okay. Okay, uh, some questions for me. Do you listen to my song, Max? Nope, never heard it. Okay. What kind of song is it? Is this, is it a sick mashup? Uh, no. No, it's a cover of Denny Elfman's Ice Dance from Edward Scissorhands. Oh. Because I'm fancy. So listen to it. Give it a list. <laughs> give, it, give it a list. Okay, for Max... What instrument does Mickey specifically play in Psychic Surgery? I know he likes to smack drumsticks together and rock out and stuff, but does that mean he plays the drums for the band? Also, sorry if that was asked in the fan mail special or something. You don't have to answer the question if that's the case. Uh, it's not in the fan mail special, and he does play the drums. So Cool. Is he good at it? That? Yeah, he's, in a, he's uh, the world's greatest drummer. He doesn't look like he would keep a rhythm very well. What are you talking about? He's great he is? at rhythm. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay, uh, second question. If you happen to place in the winners for the DeviantArt Scott Pilgrim contest and get noticed by the creator of the series since he's picking the winners, do you think he will be, like, super duper mad that you don't even like the comics? Uh, well, you don't need to worry about that because I've already didn't. been disqualified. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah. You know what? But, hey, was it fair that I was disqualified? Yeah. Well, I was looking at the finalists and one of them was just a drawing of an owl. So <laughs> really, it was like it was like a a, a hyper realistic owl. 
Cool. With with like a human body. It was just like a man with an owl head. Oh. And I was like, eh, I don't know if this is better than mine. I don't really get it. Well, you don't like Owlman? That's her eighth. I don't. Evil I don't see how that uh, qualifies for one of Ramona's evil ex-boyfriends. Uh, maybe she. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't. It's no. Mine was better. And I mean, there was there was some really good ones too. And I, you know, even if I had made to, made it to the finalists, I doubt I would have won because there were some ones that were really amazing. But yeah. I don't know about that owl one. And the prices in DeviantArt for like the how huge that side is, the prices are always like. Eh, eh. No, first prize was like a thousand bucks. Yeah, but there's like only a bunch of other three stuff. prizes for a site that's like huge. Yeah, I hope the L one wins just to piss everybody off. Yeah, you think the creators are gonna funny. choose that one? Like, yeah, I like owls. I'm Asian. <laughs> Asian. He's Asian. I'm pretty sure. What is that? If what does being Asian have to do with liking owls? Oh, we're we're real we're real owlies. <laughs> real owlies. Mm-hmm. Okay, next email comes from Anthony Cannon. Hey guys, ha 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 ha. <laughs> uh, the, I, oh no no no, that's a reference to my animation. So yeah. Just wondering, are you fans of the Steven Spielberg, and what do you think of the movies he's released over the last decade? I like E.T. E. I did, actually don't like Steven Spielberg. Did he make uh, uh, the, the the centipede, human centipede? <laughs> nope. Because that's the only movie I watch ever. <laughs> In your life, yeah. Okay, and, you know and what? That, if you can only watch ha- one movie in your life, that's what I would suggest. Yeah, because then you wouldn't want to watch another movie in your life. That's right. Uh, actually, there's I don't like Steven Spielberg, but there's one of his movies that I really do like, and that is War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. I for some reason I really? like that movie. Yeah. Huh. It's not flawless. It's not flawless. It has some problems. It loses steam at a certain point. It kind of hits a brick wall. But I still think it's a pretty good movie. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the owl picture. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Really? Okay, so next email. What's your favorite fruit? Yo, Tom. Uh, peach. Mine is watermelon. Yeah, I I, I was going between watermelon and peach. Shit. I'm glad we decided. Okay. On this next guy. He has an email, but I don't really want to read all of it. But the one question is, Yo, Tom, how are you so familiar with pop, with American pop culture? Uh, and I guess because he, you live in Israel, he doesn't understand why you would be familiar with that. Well, because I watch a lot of Full House. <laughs> you get it, dude? And, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the internet a lot, I guess. The internet is yeah. all American. Yo, Tom, will you ever tell us a story of your army duties? Max, stay cool. Uh, sure, you guys send me all, all army questions. We have, we'll have an army off one, one, one day, okay? An army off. Okay, next email. You guys are great. Both Yo, Tom, and Max bring only themselves into the podcast, and they don't care. Why should they care? Why should they act different? Because their fans don't like certain people. Yo, Tom, you're great for being wacky and crazy. Max, you're great for telling how you see things and not caring what people think. I'm kind of wacky. <laughs> and that's that's all the email says. Cool. So I'm the wacky Next one, one is you're from... the one that tells it like it is. Okay, these are the the last ones I haven't read before I uh bef- previous to this, so these ones are going to be improv. Dear Max and Yo Tom, I just recently got four par- parakeets today. They are all mean to me and they said bad words to me. What should I do? Uh you should not get a parakeet cuz that's really weird. Why would you ever want a parakeet? It's not a fun animal to have. Oh, I like birds. Really? What, what What do you do with a bird besides put a sheet over it so it goes to bed because it's so dumb? <laughs> what do you well? What do you know? What do you do with any pet? That's the point. You is pet it's, it. You know, just companionship. You can pet a bird. Really? My mom pets my parrot all all the time. That's all she does all day long. Is oh. she walks around with my, with our parrot on her shoulder and she's petting it. That sounds weird. That your mom pets your parrot all day. Just saying. Well. I don't know, birds That's... seem ridiculous to me because they're really loud, they're obnoxious. They are loud. And then uh, there's loud. no reason to have them, ever. I'm good, just like keep it to uh, cats, dogs, and snakes. Are you, a cat, are you a cat person or a dog person? Cat. I have two cats. 
Okay, next email. This one is from Addison Clutchko. I don't know if that's a chick or a dude. Cool. Are you guys ever doing an animation collaboration of some sort, like maybe a big battle of some kind, and favorite bands? Yeah, we are. It's going to be a lot of Next favorite week. bands. Oh, this is a sad one. Oh. I just broke up with my girlfriend a week ago because I spoiled the last Lost episode for her, and she had threw a glass at my head, and I got stitches. She didn't even offer to take me to the hospital, so I had to get my mom to take me. When I got back, she was bitching at me because I got blood all over the carpet. <laughs> I embarrassed the fuck out of her VIA. I dump for you. What should I do next? I don't know what any of that means. Uh, Viacula, I dumped you before you dump me. Something like that. VIA, I dump for you. Dot what? I don't get it. Next email. Well, you should get Hello, a gentlemen. girlfriend and don't one that doesn't like a shitty show like Lost. Let's move on. Uh, not a shitty show. Uh, the best television show in the history of TV. Mm. Uh, I, guess, I guess it just went over your head. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, it was too smart for me because, you know, all those Lost Watchers are really smart people. I am a Watch Loster. You're a Watch Loster? That's right. Am I smart? No, but most of them are really brilliant people, you know. They throw cops to people's heads because, yeah, smart people. Okay, well, you're being intolerant and offensive to me. And you've hurt my feelings I'm sorry. because of your ignorance. Uh, this one is from James Redfern. Hello, gentlemen. Since Mickey is trapped in this prison of a corporation, why hasn't Mickey raped June? Seeing he is a criminal and all. Also, have you heard the them song sounds? It sound like fucking instead of wacky. Yeah, I agree about that. I agree that he sounds like fucking game jokes for kids. It's not a. It's not a dude. It's a chick that does that song. No, it's a dude. No, it's Hanya Lee. No, I didn't check that. Maybe it's... Uh, um, I have no idea what to say! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe it's Hankly. Nope. <laughs> well, Not Hankly. Okay, you got me. Sorry. So what do you think? Should we finish up this episode uh, with, uh, with some, some of Max Gilardi's hilarious Facebook friends? Can I yeah. cap it off? Yeah, I'll check out on, on, on my on my funnies. See if anyone's funnier than let's compare them. If this is a, if the, I still feel bad for laughing at that guy. <laughs> His name was Andy Gay. That was that was just embarrassing for me that I laughed at it so hard. By the way, that's the name of the episode. Of what episode? This episode. The name is Andy Gay. Andy Gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, Andy Gay. Okay, I've got a fr uh, I've got a first uh, ne I've got a first Facebook funnies whoa, whoa, whoa. from Makarai Raidenstone. He says, "Ninjas and pirates and Vikings! Holy crap!" Oh well. So, uh, yeah, your turn. Well, this time I guess I was kind of asking for it here, but I uh, I tweeted I need a title card gag for the next wacky game jokes, and I can't think of one. Anyone have any ideas? So, as you can imagine, yeah. trouble trouble is brewing. Mm -hmm. uh, first person says, Mickey the Dick says, I can't believe you faggots actually sent me fan mail. The next guy says, if you value your, if you value your life, leave now. Trust me, this one's bad. The next guy says, they have made worms meats of me a plague on both your houses. So, this is, this is some funny stuff. Well, you can really do... F you probably did someone else wrote, right? No, of course not. Yeah, cuz I I've actually not really I've actually not really uh, decided on one yet. That's why I was tweeting about it. Well, I'll help you. Help me right now. What do you think it should be? Look again in jokes for kids. I'm really mean. Ah. <laughs> about that. I don't, I don't know. I don't might do it. Well, how about this one? This one is from my buddy Ross O'Donovan and he said Maybe he could come out the hole in front of the title, and it sh could be like a portal, like that video game with portals. Then another portal opens up next to him, <laughs> and his butt comes out with a face drawn on it. And his face goes, and then Mickey, actually a big turd, should be the nose. Imagine if you had a turd nose, all you'd be able to smell is turd. <laughs> also, he should sneeze, the butt, I mean. That's funny. So, thanks, Rubber Ninja, for the input. I'm definitely going to have that be the title card gag. It's funny. It's random. 
Yeah, it's funny. I am like so out of it today. I'm not feeling this podcast. Don't worry. We got an- I got another one from Easy Leo. Now this one's really funny. He's an Easy Leo. He'll take your heart, but he won't break it. He's like no EO. Before you know it, you'll be on your knees. This one is real funny. Do you, do you know do you know the song? Will the real Slim Shady please uh, step up? Stand up. Stand up. Well, the, well yep. he said, "Will the real Slim Shady please calm down?" Oh wow! <laughs> That's funny. Uh, mm. Yeah. Ah, oh, good times. Will he calm down? Check it out. When will he calm down? Face. That Slim Shady, that oh. Marshall Mathers, I tell you. Ah. Uh. Uh. Mm. Mm. So, how was your 9-11? Uh, pretty kind of uneventful. Did you mourn? Well, you, you kind of can't mourn too much because then you'll get bummed out. So when uh, Where were you when... The towers fell. I actually do remember where I was. I was homesick. Oh. I, I was sick that day. Are you okay now? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Oh, good. So what do you think? Is this, uh, are we bringing the podcast to a close? Well, why didn't you ask me where I was? Uh, I don't know. Where, where, where were you? I, I was jumping out of the plane last second. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Get it? I'm a terrorist. Driving wah, planes, wah, episode wah, one. Wah. You know what, yo, Tom? I don't think you're a terrorist anymore. Really? You grew to know me? Because you've never, you've never terrified me. I've never been terrified by you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I can be a terrorist mm -hmm. if I'm not scary. All right, that's what terror is. And I can't grow a d decent beard. Yeah. And my head would get really sweaty if I had a turban on. <laughs> I would imagine it would, yeah. Yeah. And boy, phew, do I sweat. Okay. <clears throat> well, this was episode. What episode was this? Guys, what episode is this? I don't know. I don't even I care think anymore. It's episode 10. Okay, so this is episode 10 of Weisenheimers. If it's not, I'm sorry. And. Uh, no, I think it was episode 9. Really? Let me check. God, I can't even take it anymore. Last episode. I don't even want to do this anymore. No, this is episode 10. Last episode was, who's Tom Petty? <sighs> what, 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 what went on on that episode? We're talking about Tom Petty. Oh, cool. That was a Tom Petty guest. So this is episode 10. Uh, Everyone go on iTunes and uh, subscribe to the podcast so you can get it automatically like this. You click a bug and you go, yeah, I agree. And then every week you get a new Max and a new Tom up in your uh, iTunes. And then you could listen to us. Up. Oh. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> What's so funny, yo, Tom? <laughs> the show just ended. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> that was funny. That was a good <laughs> show, Andrew. I had no no idea how to end the show, but you made it work. Thank you, Max. Damn it. Right. Why are you so mean? <laughs> That's right.